Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. This one here before I begin is for the sign of Taurus. This is for July 6, 2020. Um, before I do begin, I'm going to say that this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. Please do take what seems to resonate with you and just leave the rest aside. If it doesn't feel like it fits, it most likely was not meant for you. Um, if you would like to have a personal reading, you can contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. Like that, you will have your personal questions, your personal situation with your personal answers. So you can contact me at that address and it will be my pleasure to send you the information on the different types of readings that I can do for you. Also, if you're new to my channel or if you've been viewing my channel and have not done so yet, please subscribe to my channel. It's my only way of knowing that you enjoy my channel and that you want more of it. It's like your way of giving me a grade if you want or a thumbs up. So please do um, subscribe to my channel and I'll be very, very happy for that. Uh, with, so with no further ado, I'm going to explain here. As I said, it's for the sign of Taurus. This here, you're going to have to use your imagination a little bit. It's a human body. Okay, so we've got the head, we've got the heart, um, uh, we've got the legs, and we have over uh, the arms, and we have the legs over here. So this is an overall, it's called a love activation spread is what it is. So we're going to go and do an overall look. This is inside, okay? It's what's going on inside of you. It's what you wish to have. It's what you are sending out to the world, what the world is giving to you you, uh, what you must do to get the outcome that you want. So it's really an overall, but it's very, it's working on the inside, the power of love. You must love yourself before the others, of course. So um, let's begin this reading and see what is up for you. So we're going to begin here with the head, which is the very first card. Um, this card here is all about the energy of the thought. What are you projecting? What is it that you want mentally to have? Okay, in this relationship here, I'm talking about love all the time. This here is tolerance. So you appreciate other points of view because you sense the, lo the love in everyone. So that is absolutely fantastic. A really, really nice card to begin with because if you do not have any tolerance, where are you going to go? It's going to be stagnant. It's going to be the end and nothing is going to go any further. You need to have tolerance and you do have this and because you do see that there is love in everyone. So we're going to continue down here and um, we're going to go with this card here, which is close to the, the mouth and the throat it would be, okay? So this is what you must verbally articulate at this moment, okay? So what you must articulate is freedom. You are releasing any self-imposed restrictions or perceived limitations through the loving energy of openness okay so this is what you must work on verbally okay so this is what you have to give out as a message you must release self-imposed restrictions you must stop putting yourself a bunch of boundaries because you're afraid or because you don't want to move forward because of, it could be of consequences it could be because you're afraid it could be because of the past it could be many different things we we put ourselves with a lot of limitations and um, this all is this is all about trying to limit them okay have less boundaries have less limits and try and move forward a little bit more give yourself some more freedom to love to think to laugh to advance okay and then we're going to move on over to um this is where the heart would be and this is the energy that uh, you need to be manifesting right now. So the energy that you need to be manifesting is ownership. So you acknowledge your misdeeds and accomplishments uh, you know, alike and you must learn to love them all as lessons. You must own what is yours. You must own the. Um, you must own your past. You must own your present, and you want to own your future. In order to do that, you absolutely have to acknowledge everything that has happened to you, the experiences. Maybe they be mad. Maybe they be bad. I'm sorry, not mad. Or may they be good. Uh, the positive, the negative. That you must. You must own it. It is yours. It belongs to you, and only you. And what you do with that is entirely up to you. Do you keep it in? Do you let it out? That is going to be up to you but the card is telling you that you need to leave yourself some boundaries. You need to stop limiting yourself. Okay so you must keep that in mind. 
Now this card here is all about what um, what you would like to receive. This is all about virtue. So you, you acknowledge your loving spiritual attributes that encourage others to grow. Okay, so you give off this energy, you give off this powerful energy, your virtue, who, um, and it's just encouraging others to grow, and it's encouraging you also. It's encouraging you in your tolerance, in your freedom, in your ownership of yourself. And what you're trying to give out um, is integrity. You demonstrate the truth and honesty of your soul, and you manifest love with every action. Okay, so this is so important that you're you're demonstrating this, and this is what you're giving out to the world. When you give out positive, you receive positive back. This is really about saying, speaking the truth, the honesty. If you don't say the truth, you don't say the honesty. Nobody's ever going to believe you, or they're not going to trust you, or they're not just. They're not going to be fully capable of um, of having a complete, uh, honest, uh, you know, friendship-based relationship with you. You need to have integrity. And so, over here, okay, is a very important card here. And this card here is the card that is the most helpful card of this whole spread. This gives you a heads up on how to create the possible outcome for this reading. Your possible outcome is the present. You live in the moment and are able to bring forth the energy of love in your current circumstances. Okay? This is magic. This is um, seizing the moment. Okay? This is what this card is all about. This is about um, not living in the past, not living in the future, living in the right here right now and it seems so easy to say it like that so easy I know I know it's easy but it's so difficult to do it's so difficult to apply we're always looking for the next the next step the next buy the next nice day the next 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 you can add them it continues forever it's to the infinite so um, this is all about you working on your present. Enjoy your present every single moment what you're having right now and then you will one step at a time as you enjoy your present you will go towards your future and your future will be brighter and you will have everything that you want here okay and so the card number seven here is placed on the other leg here and this is about it's a new thought okay it's a new possibility it's a bright future this is with all the energies all together it's about discernment you're developing the skill to distinguish love from fear and truth from illusion so what a beautiful thought to finish with what a beautiful gift that you're giving yourself you have not received it you've given it to yourself because you're working on the tolerance you're working on your own limits of your boundaries, your freedom. You're working on your ownership. You're giving out virtue. Uh, well, you're receiving virtue, giving out integrity. You're working on living into the present moment. And your nice, lovely thought is, you know, you're developing the skill to distinguish love from fear and truth from illusions. When you're able to do that, you can do everything. You're, nobody's going to scare you anymore. Nobody's going to put a blindfold over you and hide things from you. You are going to have the tool necessary. So this ends this reading. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope I gave you some interesting um, messages there that are going to be useful for you. I do wish you a fantastic day. Um, please do subscribe to my channel if you would like to have a private reading, romancefiltarot at gmail.com. I wish you a day filled of many, many blessings and we'll be seeing each other soon for another reading. Have a great day.